it's actually time. <clears throat> so I'm going to welcome God. everybody to our <clears throat> March meeting of the Design and Review Board. We appreciate your participation, Alan. Uh, we'll, we'll begin, um, well, I, I think Alan, our uh, audience tonight, understands the uh, process of coming to the center uh, lectern at, at, the, at the right time uh, <clears throat> when we, when our uh, acting secretary, Ryan, uh, reads the... Um, the separate applications. Or is this to me? And at the moment, uh, folks are reviewing the minutes one last time for the work session and regular meeting in February. And then uh, as soon as they've uh, taken one last look at them, we can entertain a motion uh, to accept them or to revise them. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion that we accept the minutes of the February 7th, 2017 work session and uh, meeting. Second. As written. Right. Second. All, right. uh, all in favor of uh, uh, accepting the mo minutes for the last uh, uh, month's meeting, please raise your right hand. Okay, thank you. And then, uh, Mr. Secretary, if you would... Uh, Read us our first application, please. A, in the Historic Overlay District, uh, we have uh, the applicant, Aiken County Historical Society, who is requesting to um, erect a new historical marker at the Aiken Training Track, generally at uh, 538 Two Notch Road. Um, the training track was uh, started construction in 1941 and is on the National Register. Okay. And then... Uh, I think now we could uh, have uh, Mr. Riddick uh, as representative of the applicants, uh, Aiken County Historical Society. If you come forward and then officially give us your name for the record. My official name is Alan Riddick, and I live here in Aiken. Okay. What's your address? Oh, 1111 Parsons Lane. Okay, thank you. And um, we talked a little bit about uh, the front and back of this particular uh, new marker. Uh, have you got anything you wanted to add uh, to the application? No, not really. I just. Okay. It's pretty you know, self explanatory. I just, yeah, it's I think, just a marker, you know. So. And we can, um, we can discuss it in a second. We'll uh, see if we. Um, <clears throat> I have a uh, question. Have yeah, okay, go ahead. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Riddick, um, uh, the, the, the issue is the location of the marker. And um, did you plan to have it where the star is on, the, on this? Um, uh, well, that general area, I mean, okay. it didn't, I mean, when I talked with um, Brad Stouffer and Lisa, we just kind of agreed to a general area, and we didn't really say, well, this is where it's going to be, and, you know. So mm -hmm. we just kind of, we were, just, as I said earlier, we were hoping to have it out by the road where people will see it. And um, mm -hmm. so, yeah. so you'd be amenable to um, a location on Two Notch Road that was suitable to the training track. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I think we would uh, hope, hope that you all would coordinate the exact location that we would when we vote on this tonight that it doesn't necessarily um, determine that that star is the exact that's right. location. That is correct. We understand yeah. it needs to be visible to the public, hopefully. Um, okay, I think any other questions of our applicant? We'll, we'll let you, uh, if you can find a seat, uh, take a seat and... Um, <laughs> And I'll have to ask if anyone would like to speak uh, in uh, favor or opposition, and I don't uh, see anyone there. Thank you, Alan. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, if it's appropriate, I would like to make a motion mm -hmm. on application CERH 17-025, um, the uh, Aiken Training Track uh, historical marker that we um, approve 
this um, application is submitted and um, however that the um, marker will be located um, along Two Notch Road at a um, location that is um, suitable to Mr. Riddick and um, the training track. Mm -hmm. Good. Second. Okay. Okay, we have a motion and second. Any further discussion? All right. All in favor of the uh, um, application with uh, added comment on the location, please raise your right hand. Okay. okay. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for doing that. Yeah. All right. Secretary, if you would uh, introduce our next right. item 2B pertains to uh, the Old Aiken area, uh, Old Aiken overlay, and an amendment to the Old Aiken design guidelines for large footprint buildings. Um, with a recent discussion of the uh, potential downtown redevelopment project, um, the, the board decided it would be pertinent to provide further guidance on uh, the potential for large footprint buildings, specifically new large footprint buildings in the downtown area. So we went through um, the various exercises in the work sessions and, and came up with a draft set of guidelines that are um, before you in, in your packet. Um, staff has received um, a number of recommendations um, uh, uh, additions or clarifications um, uh, from the design review board, uh, including um, uh, clarifying that the, uh, the the proposed guidelines specifically uh, apply to new downtown um, uh, buildings, um, that headings be added to the various uh, pages. There are four pages, uh, one delineating um, the, a, a unique section number for each page, uh, as an example, 3.2.14.1.2.3.4, and then uh, headings including uh, overview, scale and proportion, uh, storefront and window openings, and materials uh, for each uh, respective section. Uh, staff was um, requested to continue to refine uh, the visual aids included therein and to find best examples of, of what the, the text is referencing and to add clarifying comments to those um, as necessary. Um, and specifically within the section regarding materials um, to uh, refine the draft that was provided to you by listing inappropriate materials as uh, simulated wood siding, corrugated metal as a primary material, um, and glass curtain walls. Um, and that uh, would yeah, conclude the summary of staff's comments on corrections received at this time. Good. That was a good summary of some <clears throat> complicated uh, revisions. And I think the last thing we were going to strike uh, the, the word neon there just to give uh, some opportunity for <clears throat> uh, perhaps neon signage would still be okay. It would have to go through the sign uh, review, obviously, and, and meet the... Um, the ordinance on signage. Um, I think we also mentioned in the, the last page that perhaps you could find some uh, photos where you just uh, include um, material, building material like the uh, maybe the old base of the old post office, just showing the variety that we have. I think that was stone, um, I believe. And then, and then perhaps stucco. Even we talked some about stucco and when it's appropriate, and and not. But uh, that might be a, a a way to finish out that last that last page. So, uh, if everybody's in, does anybody have any other comment about the revisions and uh, here? If, 
And Mr. Okay. Chair, just, oh, sorry. I just, just thought I would clarify also for the record that this follows the zoning ordinance of a text amendment. So you would be making a recommendation this evening on, on whether to move forward with this or, or to not. And then it would be considered uh, by the Planning Commission and City Council mm -hmm. um, to uh, actually uh, ratify and amend the, the design guidelines. So would it, would it have to go to Planning Commission next month, April? Correct, yeah, because uh, it, it's too late for notice for the meeting next week. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then after that, the uh, City Council if, and, see, and see if they agree with what we're mm -hmm. suggesting. Uh, and as you all know, we've been We've been discussing some of these things informally for a couple of months. So um, now as, uh, as the potential is, uh, you know, increasing for perhaps some new construction, which we haven't seen much in our downtown, but now we may, uh, in fact, um, have uh, the type of, of, of new improvements that, that our guidelines are kind of unprepared for, I think. But this will give some direction, particularly to out-of-town um, developers and, and designers. <coughs> I appreciate your hard work, Ryan, pulling it together and <clears throat> um, being the target of a lot of uh, constructive criticism. But this is, a, this is really a good, uh, on, on short notice, a very good effort. Okay. Well, I don't know that uh, we necessarily even need comment on something that's our... Uh, document, although it would have been in the agenda package if somebody wanted to come comment, but we don't have any. I don't see that we have any of that, so I think it'd be appropriate if you don't have other comment to go ahead and uh, have a motion on it. Mr. Chairman, I move that we uh, recommend our uh, downtown commercial new large um, large footprint building guidelines. Um, that we um, send these on to um, the Planning Commission for further review and that um, that the chairman gets to sign off on the final. <laughs> Second. All right. Uh, good. Thank you. Any, any other comment? All, all in favor, raise your right hand. Okay. Thank you very much. I think now we've concluded our business for the evening and we've got a lot done. Yeah. Good. In 15 minutes, pretty good. Yep, you know.